What's going on everybody? I appreciate y'all for tuning back in. And today I'm gonna be telling you guys, in my opinion, the top six best basketball shoes that are out right now. Real quick before we get into the top six, I wanna say thank you guys. I don't know if you heard or seen the news, but your boy did just hit 400 subscribers. Thanks to y'all, so round of applause. Pat yourself in the back. Because we're here now, we are 100 more subscribers away from my first ever uh, giveaway. And then after that, we are 500 subscribers away from my next giveaway at 1,000 and one of the ultimate goals to become monetized and whatnot at 1,000. So we getting it, you feel what I'm saying? Month by month, day by day, I've been gaining views, likes, subscribers, all in all, and it's all thanks to you guys for tuning in. And the last thing before we get started with the top six, let me know down in the comment section below what you think the number one shoe is going to be, because it might surprise a lot of you. Um, mind you, I haven't put my foot in every shoe, so if I did leave a shoe that you like off the list, put it down in the description, you know, we'll talk, not description, the comment section, we'll talk about it, because I love talking to you guys and interacting with you guys, so let me know how you feel about the list. I tried, I had to nitpick everything, because all these shoes that are on here are good, but you know when you have a lot of good shoes, you gotta nitpick something. I feel like Skip Bayless, I'd be on LeBron. I had to nitpick to the the smallest thing. So I just tried to make the list as best as I could for you guys. But we're gonna get into it right now. Starting us off, we have the Jordan 36. And honestly, what put me on this shoe is obviously I listened to other reviews before I copped them, but um I saw Hole from Baller's Life. I always saw that he wore the white and blue ones, um, as well as Bionic from the uh, Baller's Life West Coast. I seen them wearing these and I was like, yo, those are fire. Like, they look clean, they look nice and whatnot. What are they? And I found out they were 36s because previously before I had the 34s and I thought they would be as good as these, but the 34s in my opinion were kind of trash to play in. So I just never played in them. I got red, magma red, which is my favorite color of all time. So the style to me is, is definitely fire. The cushion has my favorite cushioning setup in Air Zoom. He made it even better for me to want to cop this shoe. Um, the only thing it lacks other than the, the five that are above it is the support kind of. I already started padding around the ankle bone Achilles heel. It's not really much in the tongue. Um, it does go tight, but it's not as tight as I would like it to be. And the traction, because you don't hear as many squeaks. <laughs> And if you do, you gotta keep sliding your foot against the ground and you hear squeak here, squeak there. Um, it doesn't attract dust, but I think if they would've changed the pattern, so you know how most shoes have like different lines and creases, not creases, but like lines and designs and stuff to capture the traction noise. I think if they would've done that instead of just going straight up and down or just straight up for that reason, that's why the shoe is at number six. Up next, we have my budget baby in the Puma Court Rider. And I'm not gonna lie to you guys, looking at the side alone, this shoe does look like a skater shoe. But I mean, come on, man, let's be honest. Who didn't skate back in the day? Who didn't play Tony Hawk back in the day? So we all got a little skater in all of us. But um, I think the colors and how it's all set hits well together. The cushion is one of my favorite parts of this shoe. You get that nice boost off of the ground. You guys know how I like that nice little boost off the ground. And it's nice, soft, and responsive. So I really like that. The support of it, you have a nice support padding around the Achilles heel and ankle bone, as well as nice padding in the tongue. And it's a very nice tug fit. It hugs that ankle really nice. And last on the list is the traction of this. The traction is really good. One of the A1 tractions, not gonna lie to you. You hear the squeaks all the time. I mean, barely attracts dirt. Well, I would say dust, it barely attracts dust. And the pattern that is on it, it says Puma all across it, but it just hugs and grips the floor nice. This to me was one of those shoes that came way out of left field because I seen the price and it's just, I didn't expect it to be one of the top shoes in my rotation, but it definitely is in my rotation. If y'all looking for, you know what I'm saying? That banger, that heat, the Puma Court Rider is definitely one of those shoes that y'all should look into. Up next at number four, we have the Dame 8, and I gotta be honest with you guys, I'm surprised I have a Dame up here because I did not like Dame's one through seven line, but something told me just try the eight and see what's up, and I'm glad that I tried it. The colorway on this shoe is a teal type of colorway um, with reflective points on it. If you guys can see back here, it has a little bit of reflective lighting as well as the lightning that will go on here. And as well as has Dame Dollar, obviously his rap name and some of his boxing stuff that's on here as well. And what I really like about this shoe, it really gravitated towards me was his little hits of pink. I think that's a really nice way to, I don't know, I just really like it. It brings me back to like a 90s style, kind of, when they had these type of colorways. But regardless of that, the style is pretty solid. It's okay. Next up, we have my favorite part about the shoe and is the cushion. Instead of going with light strike like they did for the Dame 7, they went with a whole new outlook and they went to bounce. 
And like I told y'all in my video that I made about this shoe by myself, keep doing this in the dames. I love the boost that you get from it and it's all nice, soft and responsive. So definitely keep doing that. Next we have the support and the support is solid. You got a nice um, padding around the ankle bone Achilles heel. Um, it's okay padding inside of the tongue. The only thing, the only con I would have had about it is the shoelaces are very long. So I tell you guys, don't make them so long next year. But other than that, support is solid and the traction is really good. Um, it does not attract dust besides what you think from this pink out logo of it. It does not attract dust. You hear a lot of squeaks. Just very grippable, man. And so that makes this shoe at top four. And heading down to the top three, we have the Puma TRC at number three. And guys, this is one of my favorite shoes. Shout out Puma for making me slept on heats. I did not think copping this shoe would be in my top tops, but it is in my top tops. The styling of the shoe, the colorway is basically just orange fizzy melon. So it's basically just orange everywhere around the shoe. So it's nothing too basic, but it's nothing too complex either. The cushioning is one of my favorite parts about the shoe. It is the softest cushion that is on this list. And it just, it just feels really good, man, in my opinion. If you guys have it, then some of you know what I'm talking about. It just feels really nice, soft, and responsive. And it does give you a little bit of boost, nothing too much, but it gives you, man, it's just, it's just such a good cushion, man. Like, you could just, like, I dunked in game in these. I just had a crazy performance in these, so the cushion is, is A1 for sure. And then the support, you have a nice padding around the ankle bone and the Achilles heel, as well as some nice padding in the tongue. And when you tie it to the tightest, it does stay nice and tight, which I like that really well. And the traction. Now, mind you guys, the traction does attract dust, but it doesn't stop it from squeaking. And the pattern on it is really nice. That's what I was talking about with the Jordan 36. If it had multi-directions and stuff like that in the traction pattern, I think it would hold up a lot better. But the traction pattern in this Puma TSC is really nice. The only thing is, it does attract dust. So that's why I was telling you guys to use the wipe uh, method where you um, put some water on a napkin, wipe it up and down, then get it dry and then wipe it up and down. And you should be good. But other than that, the shoe is top three for a reason. Now number two, which might catch a lot of you guys by surprise, we have the KD15. And it just got out edged by a little bit by number one. And you guys might even be surprised what it is at number one. But we're gonna talk about the styling of the KD15. And I like the purple, it's a purple black base. But the hits that about this shoe is the aqua blue, baby blue, the pink that's around the tongue and on the back of the heel and at the back back there. And as well as this, I don't even know what this color is. It's like an olive yellow, but it just hits as well as the suede metallic black that's alongside of the KD15. This is arguably the best looking shoe that I have on my top six list and probably the best looking shoe that I have out of all the shoes that I hope in, to be honest with you guys. The cushion setup is Air Zoom and I'm so glad that they copied the same thing that they used in the 14 because those sold like crazy and I believe these sell like crazy. The only thing I wish that they did like the 14 was they gave it that little extra boost. These shoes are a little bit more lower to the ground, but the cushion is still nice, soft and responsive. It's really the same thing just without the boost. So, you know, my feelings were kind of hurt by that, but still the performance in the shoe is still really good. The support is what really edged it from number one. Um, the support being when you get KDs and PGs, they're very narrow, so you have to go up a half size. I would definitely recommend you do that. Um, and when you wear these shoes, you kind of get a little bit of heel slippage. So I wasn't too much of a fan by that. It's not like it comes out of the shoe, but it, it just doesn't stay as tight as you tie it and you would like it, you know what I'm saying? It doesn't bother you while you're playing, but it's still the fact that it does come up. And to me, that means the support isn't where I would like it to be. And it has good, great ankle padding around the bone, around the Achilles heel, and the tongue you know, has a little bit of slight padding. So to me, why I think the heel slippage is there is because this little indent right here, it's because of KD's feet. Obviously these shoes are built how the NBA players foot is, but this indent here, I think it's what causes the heel slippage because if your foot isn't long like that and it doesn't go all the way back here, I think it's probably gonna slip. A1, one of them A1 tractions, it really attracts dust. You find yourself being confident doing any move, any performance type of drill. Ooh, just be that small little tweak, man, is why I got a little bit out edge. I gotta say I'm truly surprised because the first version of this shoe didn't do as good as this one is doing. But with that being said, the number one shoe out of my list is gonna be the Nike Cosmic Unity 2. Now, I don't know if a lot of you guys have this shoe. If you don't, I'm gonna tell you why you wanna cop it. The styling on it alone, this is the coconut colorway, the off-white colorway. They have another colorway that I wanted, it was the blue one, but I just decided to just stay with this one, that cream, clean look, it's fire. 
Um, it's nothing too crazy. Like it's pretty much a basic style, but it's just the colorway of it. It looks really nice, simple, and clean. I don't know if you guys could tell, this is space theme, as you guys see from the numbers and letters of how it all looks, it is space to cold. I didn't know that at first, but then, you know, at the research, I found out that it is from space, the mission to Mars and whatnot. So I think that's pretty cool. And moving on to the cushion, my favorite part about this shoe, they give me that boost. And it's also Nike Air Zoom, which is one of my favorite Nike uh, cushioning setups. So I'm so grateful that they did that because last year's model didn't have none of that. It was a court field shoe and this year's model is so much better and that cushion feels nice soft and responsive man i love it important the nike Cosmo uni 2 is really good you get a good padding around the ankle bone and the achilles heel area as well as a nice breathable padding inside of the tongue which is different from every other shoe that is on this list and when you do tie the shoe to the tightest it does stick so i really like that the only downside or the only con about the shoe is it was very stiff at first so i say once you play it like once or twice or you play a couple games that day and whatnot your foot is definitely going to start to move more into the shoe and start to feel more comfortable so it then become unstiff so just just a reminder to tell you guys that if you do cop this shoe and last on this we had the traction and the traction between this and the kd15 are relatively the same the only reason it out edged the kd15 is because there is no heel slippage um i feel like if the tractions are the same and there's a little bit of heel slippage then that has you know obviously dip down in waves. So that's gonna be it for today's video. Congratulations to the Nike Cosmo Uni 2 for taking the top place in the top six best basketball shoes that are out right now. Obviously opinion based. If you guys feel like there's a shoe that I left off, let me know down in the comment section below so we can talk about it. Again, I haven't put my foot in every shoe, so I couldn't say damn near every shoe, but I did say the ones that I have in my rotation and the ones that I reviewed. And I think these are the ones that I feel like a lot of you guys should go ahead and cop and get enjoyed this video though and if you guys want to see me do more of these top six different categories shoes going against each other let me know down below as always i appreciate you guys for tuning back in chauncey send us off yeah can you want to add to it chauncey what is that's your end intro yeah just the end intro you guys thank you for guys watching today's video see you next next in today's video bye <laughs>